What is going on guys? So ever since we learned that Alpha 2 spot testing has already begun and since I made a video on it, you guys have been flooding that video with questions on all sorts of things regarding spot testing in Alpha 2. And while there's no official Q&A because Alpha 2 spot testing isn't really an official event, it's kind of like a lead up to the actual big test, I'm going to do my best to answer as many of those legitimate questions as I can based off Steven's answers in Discord and things that we just kind of know so let's just jump right into it and the first question is what is spot testing spot testing is really in alpha one it was determined as pre-alpha one testing so spot testing technically could be determined as pre-alpha two testing here and it's basically where intrepid is doing smaller scale focus testing on certain things for a specific amount of time where it could be jump into this test for three hours to test castle sieges or something like that Again, I'm not actually doing spot testing, and if I was, I wouldn't be able to tell you because there's an NDA, so I'm just kind of giving you broad examples of what exactly that would be. Things like that, and Intrepid could be like, okay, we're gonna do this on Friday, December 1st from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., and then these servers will shut back down again. So it's really short-term testing to test specific things that Intrepid knows they need more work on before the actual big amount of players come in. The second question that I've been asked a lot, even though I added proof in the video, is how do you know that spot testing has started? Well, that's because Steven said this over on Discord. Gotta make sure my finger's up there. Does this mean we're gonna see gameplay now? No. Spot testing is still under NDA, and it's probably gonna be under NDA until we get right into that Alpha 2 point. With Alpha 1, spot testing was under NDA right up until. That doesn't mean that we're not gonna see things that they're testing. A lot of times, Steven would use the Phoenix Initiative and the pre-alpha spot testers to do bigger events that they wanted to showcase in the live stream. Like, if you look back to pre-alpha 1 time frame, you'll see, like, taking on some dragon bosses within the Castle Siege zone, there's some castle siege stuff there's all sorts of things like that that intrepid may use the player base that is currently testing to showcase those features my thought here and this could be completely wrong is when we get the pvp showcase in january they might use some of those testers involved to get a bigger pvp showcase with more players and not just devs to really give a good example of what people are going to see can I get into testing if I didn't play Alpha 1? Oh, well, that's kind of a tricky one. So first off, I would assume there's nothing been confirmed here, but if you want a chance to get into spot testing, you need at least Alpha 2 access. But that does not mean you're gonna get into spot testing right away. Steven said at the beginning of the year that when they start testing, it's gonna be more internal testing and then they're gonna roll in Phoenix Initiative testers and then Alpha 1 testers and eventually Alpha 2 testers, I would assume when they need those numbers. But there's 10,000 people in Alpha 1. I assume maybe even if half of them will probably jump in for spot testing. A lot of those people probably forgot they even brought packages because they just wanted to play a game and not actually test it but we will have to wait and see so really you probably don't need alpha one to get into spot testing if you have alpha two access down the road but you're not going to get into the earlier testing if you don't have that alpha one access and unfortunately you cannot get that access anymore will invites to spot testing be rolling out in any particular way again we don't know steven has not said anything on that we don't know how the testing is going to work there could be times where steven needs 3,000 players to test this bigger feature and there could be times where steven needs 200 players to test a feature where they just use Phoenix Initiative. Part of the backer package with Phoenix Initiative was those people dumped in like thousands of dollars to support Ashes of Creation's development, and they're going to get more perks than the Alpha 1 testers and the Alpha 2 testers, and it's just a tier to those packages. How will I know when I can test? I would assume sticking around the Ashes of Creation Discord. If you're an Alpha 1 tester, Steven said the launcher is going to be updated in the next few weeks too for the Alpha, if you still have the Alpha 1 launcher installed, so I imagine that'll be a good sign that something's ramping up. But keep an eye on the Discord. That's probably going to be the main source of information. If you're an Alpha 2 tester, I'm sure Intrepid will give a bigger announcement when that happens. So it's really just stay tuned, pay attention to social media, and especially Discord, because we learn a lot more from Discord than we do from things like Twitter and Facebook.
And then the last question I had, which is kind of an obvious one for most people, but if I don't have the Alpha 1 launcher, can I still spot test the game or does that mean I can't play anymore? And yes, you'll still be able to spot test the game. The launcher is still out there for download. I'm not going to link it here because, well, I don't know if Intrepid actually wants people using that link for the launcher, but I imagine when they are inviting Alpha 1 testers into spot testing, you'll get an email or Discord update or something saying, hey, testing is beginning again on these dates this is a link to the launcher to download. I don't believe they're gonna exclude you based off of whether or not you have the launcher installed. That just doesn't really make any sense. And that'd be a big headache when it comes to setting up accounts for alpha because the alpha key is linked to your Intrepid account. So if you have Alpha 1 testing and you tested in Alpha 1, it has to do with your login to the account. It doesn't have to do with the launcher. And they're not going to have a way to figure out, well, these people don't have the launcher installed, so they're not going to test. But I hope that helps clarify some of these questions you guys have. Obviously, we will get more official detail down the road when Intrepid is ready to share it. In the meantime, stay tuned because we have no official dates on when anybody is going to be dropping into alpha testing. We don't know who's going to. And you might not know if you aren't an Alpha 1 tester or a Phoenix Initiative tester because, again, NDAs will be involved. Although Steven can't really help himself and tends to slip up and say when people are testing. But that's for him to say because it's his studio and his game and not for people like me to say. Or anybody else in those testing programs when the time finally starts so yeah if you have any more questions drop them down below i'll do my best to answer them in the comments otherwise make sure you click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up and stay tuned for a lot more to come to do is look deep into my ball.